you really seem to uh, vilify capitalism, and just kind of touching on the last gentleman's point, isn't it really human greed that's the problem, that we, we love money, we love things more than people, and we, we use people to make money rather than use our money for people? So it's, would you agree that it's really greed that's the problem and not capitalism? It's the, it's the human heart that needs to be changed, not the, not the social system. I, I, th th thank you for that question. I mean, b by the way, I, I, I think entrepreneurship is terrific. Um, I, I just, I, 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 but I, I do think that the problem is capitalism. Here's why. Um, humans have always been greedy. Right? I mean, we are uh, you know, wired to be greedy, but luckily, we're not just wired to be greedy. We're also, it's also possible, and in fact, it, it, humans are also social animals. We're also, our brains are, are wired uh, to encourage, you know, encourage altruism and generosity. So, for example, if someone gives you a dollar, how much are you going to give to me? 90 cents. 90? <laughs> because you are free of greed except 10 cents worth. Right. Okay. Um, okay. So, 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 you know, so, so, okay. Now, you know, across a range of societies and across a range of, uh, of humans in North America, for example, this game has been played. Uh, and it's striking that uh, the most greedy individuals are graduate students in economics. Uh, so, graduate economics students are the ones who, who t do the rational thing. The rational thing is you keep 99, I get one cent. And I still get one more cent than I would have gotten otherwise. And that's, you know, that's an optimal outcome for me and for you, because I get a cent. Uh, and th that's, that should be what it is that, that greed demands. Right? Greed would demand 99 for you, one for me, and that's the rational choice. But no one does it. Not even the graduate students in economics. They do like 32 cents for me and the rest for you uh, as, as graduate economics. Even they have some, some you know, sort of modicum of, of decency left. Um, and, and what's interesting about that is that there are societies that go much more your way, where it's like, well, I'm, I'm going to give it all except, except one cent that I have to keep, but because I know that the next time we play this game, you're going to owe me, right? And so that there are societies where this split is, is sometimes flipped over. Um, and the, the, what this demonstrates, first of all, is that the extent to which we allow our greed to, to be the defining factor of who we are is socially conditioned. Uh, greed has always happened in human society, but so has altruism and generosity and a range of other things. The trouble is that c when you pair that greed to a social system that is able to discard certain kinds of people and certain kinds of nature and take a certain relationship to the things that we allow to be profitable or, or unprofitable, then we're in trouble. So we can imagine societies where people take entre you know, entrepreneurial decisions. We can imagine societies where people are you know, greedy for themselves, but not so greedy that they will trump everything that's wrong, you know, everything else with society. But that's not this society. This society is, is one in which uh, you know, the natural greed to which our species is heir is magnified out of all proportion to any other restraining factor uh, and, and is given full reign of the planet uh, and other species and the ecosystems on which we depend. Uh, and so the problem isn't greed, really.